Bling! Huh? Hi everybody, welcome back to Daily Doodles, and today I'm going to show you how to draw a ferret. So I'm going to start with my black marker, and uh, I'm going to start by drawing the ferret's eyes. Uh, so I'm going to do the ferret's little face over here, and his little body's going to be right over here, and his little tail's going to be here. So make sure you're saving enough room, okay? So I'm going to start with his eyes. I'm going to do kind of like two ovals. And they're kind of slanted ovals. They're kind of slanted towards themselves. I'm going to do a little circle here in each one, at the top of each one. And then a little circle right there, and a circle right there. And now I'm going to color in the biggest part of that oval there. So I'm going to leave out those little circles inside. I'm going to leave those little circles inside white. And color everything else black. All right, so our next step is I'm going to do his little nose. So it's going to be here underneath the eyes is where we're going to start it. And it's going to be in the middle. So I'm going to do a kind of a curve, curve line. And come on down and going up again so it's kind of like a soft triangle the edges of the earth triangle are, are nice and soft and rounded and I'm gonna give them two little dots on the side little circles so those are his little nostrils okay so our little ferret can breathe through his nose and now I'm going to do kind of like a V shape uh, like an upside down V shape. So we're gonna go like this and then coming down. So <laughs> it's kind of like a V shape and then kind of upside down V shape and then kind of spread out a bit more. Okay, now I'm going to curve up and curve up on the other side too. Now from there, I'm gonna give him a little bottom mouth here, the little bottom of his mouth. I'm going to give him like a little a little tongue, like a little lip tongue area. And now top of his head. Okay. And then we're going to come on down. And same on the other side. Okay, so we're doing his little head here. And where we've got these little um, spots left out, I'm going to put the ears in here now. So his ears are just like little teeny tiny shapes like these. So not quite a triangle, kind of like um, like an upside down V <laughs> or a sideways V. And we're going to do that on the other side too. So they're not big, they're only little ears. And um, he's got like little whiskers too. So I'm just going to give him these little lines. And same on the other side. Okay. Now I'm going to come on down from here, like a little curved line here. And I'm going to come out from there too, like a little line like that. And I'm going to go that way. And now I'm going to give him some little claws. So one little claw, two little claw, and three little claw. And then bring that up okay so we got one little foot or arm finished now we're gonna go on out that way and we are going to do a line right here and we're gonna do one, one little claw two little claw and three little claw <laughs> and then we're gonna connect that back to the rest of his body now I'm going to put a line here, so it's, we're not going to connect it to the arm quite yet. Um, we got to do his, well, I'm actually I'm going to do another little line here, and uh, now we're going to do his back. So ferrets have real long bodies. Now I'm going to do a line like this, and now I'm going to do one little claw, <laughs> two little claw and three little claw. Okay. Now I'm going to do the bottom of his foot. Like that. 
and his little bum here we're gonna connect that here to the tail so tail we're just kind of making a big line like that make it a little longer they've got long tails and now we're going to connect that we're gonna kind of follow the, the line that we made and connect it to the rest of his body okay and now we're gonna make a little line right here so it's the back of his the back of his leg now he needs his belly so we do a line there and uh, <laughs> I think he's turning out super duper cute so we're gonna add some color now so I'm gonna put that marker away and I'm going to take my light pink color Oh, yeah, I'm going to take my light pink color and I'm going to color in his little nose and his little tongue and I'm also going to color his little ears a light pink as well. Okay, just like that, I'm going to take a dark gray color and I'm gonna color his little legs dark gray. Now you don't have to follow exactly what I'm doing, but if you want to, you can, but it's okay if it doesn't look exactly like the way I'm drawing it. That's totally fine. Everyone has a different art style and a different way of doing things. Um, so it's okay if yours doesn't look the same as mine. Um, so now I'm gonna do his other little leg, his back leg here. Oh, this marker is getting squeaky. color in around those little claw feet, little claw toes. Okay, and I'm gonna make his tail, I'm gonna do part of his tail, this color gray too, just about half of it. Okay, and I'm also gonna do I'm also going to do a little bit here around his neck. I'm going to do swoops going around. Around his neck and just these little strokes. Okay. And I'm going to do some strokes here on his back. Just strokes of fur. Going all the way down his body. I'm gonna do some strokes of fur here on the bottom here, the bottom of his, or I guess the top of his chest. And a little bit here by his ears. Okay, next I'm going to take a lighter brown color and I'm going to color in more parts of his torso. So I'm just doing these light strokes. I'm just going to be like light strokes of fur. Just all over his back, all over the back here, and I'm going to Put some here on the tail, color in this area, and I'll add some here to the chest, and maybe a bit here just underneath his little face. And now I'm going to take an even lighter brown. And I'm going to do this 
upper part of his body, of his torso. And same thing, I'm just doing these strokes. And just kind of letting the colors mix together and blend. All these nice little brown ferret colors. <laughs> I'm going to bring it over this way to color in this part. Now for his little face, I'm actually going to take a really, really, really light purple, super duper light purple. And I'm going to color in his whole little face with this really, really light purple. Now, if you want, you can leave his face white, or maybe you want to use brown, like a really light brown. That's up to you. But I'm also going to go in with a um, another brown and kind of add his little fairish signature kind of a bandit mask, you know. You know the little mask that ferrets have. And yeah, I know that real ferrets don't have little purple faces, <laughs> but I think um, I think it's going to turn out really cute. And I'm going to do his little claws the same super duper light purple. Okay, now I'm going to take a brown, another brown color, and I'm going to make that little ferret mask. So I'm going to make all these little strokes. And now we're going to continue on through the middle part of his face. And come on down here too. Okay, so it's almost like a ring of brown strokes. We make a few here by the ear, and right here. And I'm gonna line the top of the eyes too. And I'm going to add a bit more brown throughout his body. Make it look like he's real fluffy. He's got some real floof. And again, I'm just using these strokes. Just all throughout. Just putting it all over the place. You can use big strokes, little strokes. It's all up to you. Okay, so we're done our ferret, but I'm gonna add a few little hearts. I'm gonna add some hearts because I think he is a sweet little ferret who just wants to wish you love. <laughs> so we got a few little hearts here. I think three is a good number. And then I'm going to take a red color. This color is actually called Candy Apple. And I'm going to color in these little hearts. One little heart, two little hearts. Now, of course, don't feel like you have to put hearts in if you don't want to. I just think they add some real cuteness to the picture. Sometimes when I draw something, after I look at it, I'm like, hmm, that could use some hearts. <laughs> Alrighty. So, we are done our sweet little ferret picture. I hope you enjoyed drawing with us today, and I hope you have a really, really good day. 
and I hope to see you here next time for our next Daily Doodle. All right, everyone. Bye.